Unbelievable. Northern groups ban Igbo presidential candidates from campaigning in Northern Nigeria. Hear the news in details. Wonderful people of Biafra, lovers of freedom all over the world, you are welcome once again to Biafra Unite channel slash television. Hmm. My people, this one is laughable. This one is laughable. I don't come again. And when I say that this one is laughable, I am not laughing at the northern groups. I am not laughing at Arewa groups. I'm not laughing to the Fulani presidency. Neither am I laughing at the Fulani infested Nigerian army. I am laughing at the people like this on the screen. I am laughing at these morons that are on the screen that are parading themselves in our land as the political elite. <laughs> I am laughing at them. Not the Fulani. Not the Fulani. Not these people. <laughs> because these people know the game. They know that the so-called Igbo elite, people like this one, zombie, people like this one they are nothing but chaff before the wind as long as Fulani is concerned these are the people I'm laughing at northern groups say that they have banned Igbo presidential candidates from campaigning in the north no be juju be that in fact, I don't want to talk too much. <laughs> I just want to read the news for you. Let me bring it to the screen so that you will understand the mess, the almighty mess. All these people who claim to be, you know, elites are in. They are, they are in for a very heavy ride. Now, I want you to pay very close attention. Remember that Atiku Abubakar has won the PDP, you know, uh, ticket to contest, to stand as the PDP flag bearer in 2023 general election. And these fools are still gallivanting everywhere in the name of Igbo leadership. Now, my people, I want you to pay very, very good attention while i read this report it, I, I i i watch in dismay and i saw how evil political elites have been mesmerized have been ridiculed have been you know oh no let's read let's read anyway let's read today's date is 30th of may 2022 and this is what i have come across 2023, we won't allow campaigns for Igbo presidential candidates in North. Arewa Group tell Ohaneze. He <laughs> busted. Look at the date. For you not to say that is uh, old news, look at it here. May 30, 2022. May 30, 2022. This is new. Current. Current. Not old. Now, Northern Youth Council of Nigeria, NYCN, an Arewa group has vowed to disrupt campaign events of Igbo presidential candidates in the North after a similar threat was issued by a prominent Ndibo group ahead of the 2023 general election. President of NYCN, Comrade Isa Abubakar, was reacting to the threat of the Apex Igbo Sociocultural Organization, or Hanez Ndibo, worldwide, to oppose Atiku Abubakar and the People's Democratic Party PDP, on which platform the former vice president recently emerged presidential candidate. <laughs> reacting 
reacting to Atiku's victory, Ohaneze had in a statement through its Secretary General, Mazi Okechukwe Oke Siguzoro, said that the PDP presidential candidate will never become Nigeria's president. The same Okechukwe Siguzoro is the idiot that went to the north, kneeling down and begging one Almajiri president called Yurima Shetima just a few months ago, castigating Mazinam de Kano during that meeting. Castigating Ohamadike, castigating Biafra Jijetos, asking the Almajiri president to come and make them the king because the Fulanis are king makers. That is from Isi Guzo, not from me. The video is there. He's the idiot now writing letter. The group also made it clear that no evil person would be allowed to campaign and project Atiku's presidential agenda in the region, describing the PDP, which is the main opposition political party in Nigeria, as having been the call, had it, having been reduced to a northern party. <laughs> now today on just they know. Oh. On a just they notice today today what children now what the 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 letters the you know the modern children sit down and see these modern elders who climb Iroko tree yet they will not see it. Ohanese rejected Atiku's candidacy, alleging that his emergence as PDP's candidate was a plot by unpatriotic un Nigerians against the southern part of the country. We are still lamenting. But NYCN National President Comrade Issa Abubakar, however, ch uh, chided Ohaneze for attempting to stop mutual hatred and ethnic division among Nigerians by coming out openly to condemn the transparent process that threw up Atiku's, uh, Atiku as PDP's uh, flag bearer ahead of next year's presidential election. Look at ordinary, a, a fool somewhere in Sokoto is the one writing, talking to Ndigo. He's not talking to me. He's talking to the fools that are parading themselves as the boy elites, wearing red cap everywhere. Hmm. According to him, Ohaneze as a group has turned itself into agent of disunity, whose stock in trade is to incite Nigerians of very uh, varying ethnic, religious, and political creeds against each other. Hmm. And I come. Esa urged Southeast elders to quickly call Ohaneze to order with a view to forestalling the possibility of other regional ethnic groups issuing some kind of violent threats to politicians from the Southeast. <laughs> uh, you think I'm going to analyze this? I'm just reading it for you so that you join me in laughing these fools, these morons that claim to be elders. If they don't do the needful, we may be forced to also take a drastic actions against Southeast presidential candidates. We won't allow, now listen, we won't allow them to set their foot on our land. Otherwise, the consequences will be grave. It is time radical and ethnic uh, chauvinistic, chauvinistic groups like the Ohaneze are cut to size, Esa said. <laughs> Esa, ordinary Esa, is talking to these cowards. God themselves are an SND. When you sell your brother, the buyer cannot trust you. This very statement is a statement from one Johnson Suleiman. When you sell your brother, the buyer cannot trust you. This word is for the so-called Igbo elite, Igbo political elite, Igbo elders. It is for you. You sold us. You sold our future. 
you handed Mazenam Dekano over to the Fulani in exchange of Igbo presidency 2023. Today, where are you? Is that Igbo presidency still foreseeable? It is a question. Peter will be the campaign from PDP to Labour. Labour is dead before taking up the journey. Not dead before arrival, no. Dead before taking up the journey. No Igbo man will ever rule Nigeria. Mark my word. I will not do analysis now, but I will come back during my live broadcast to say to give you my thoughts over this latest development. Thank you, my people. Share this very news and make it go viral.